Well, just a few weeks after one of the co-founders of the annual holiday spirit meal in Vernon was laid to rest, the decades-old tradition continued this morning to ensure no Wilbarger County resident goes to bed hungry. Shatanya Clark was there as organizers sent hundreds of people home with boxes of food this Thanksgiving. Seeing these smiling faces of residents who leave with a hot plate brings joy to the organizers of Vernon's annual holiday spirit meals. The day of giving in Wilbarger County also brings in volunteers from around the state like Dan Dale. He said, hey, uh, we're going to be here. They need to help deliver 700 uh you know, 700 meals. Said, let's let's do it. Let's go. Dale, who is visiting from San Antonio, and his son-in-law Josh Bowen, who is visiting from Alabama, say they are ready to feast with family and friends. But being able to deliver meals to families in need for the first time is an added bonus. I've never done this before. Uh, it's very exciting. Uh, very good to give back to the community. And I'm looking forward to doing it. Just a few weeks ago, news broke that Glenna Bryant, who created this event alongside her husband, passed away in Alabama. Gowen says now more than ever, they hope to keep her legacy alive. It's always been about Glenna and Pat and just keep, continue the tradition that they started. It's so important to keep this tradition alive. For the community and for the young. Gowen says the most important thing she looks forward to at this event, specifically this year, is seeing people whom they haven't seen for so long due to the pandemic. Shatanya Clark, KFDX 3 News. I'm so glad they're continuing that tradition. Well, a total of 1,045 meals were served, with 749 meals delivered and 296 picked up. Hospital staff, as well as everyone at the jail, also received meals. Gowen says they will be doing this again for Christmas. They'll start taking delivery orders for that in mid-December.